Welcome back to another adventure. Today I'm actually on a venture, but uh, that's not what this video is about. So uh, in this video today, you're gonna see some pretty common kayak mishaps. You know, getting in and out of your boat, there's always gonna be some issues there, especially if you're a beginner. It never fails, I always lose something off the side of my boat, whether it be something important or something minor. But uh, they're kayak mishaps, it's gonna happen. You wanna plan for the worst, but at the same time, you wanna laugh and then look back and enjoy those moments as well. So I hope you enjoy this kayak mishap video, and let's get to it. Yep, oh. I got it. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> I told you to get the camera. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, to rock took off. <laughs> I was trying to hold the side of the boat for you. It's, but you uh, jumped on it before I could get over there. <laughs> that rock I was standing on went poof. Oh my gosh. Uh, pull it. Pull it close to the bank and sit on it with your butt first and then swing your legs over. Pull it close to the bank. Your rudder's cleared. It, it'll be okay to drag on a rock or two, but... Oh, my gosh. One of the things I get asked about all the time is how you properly get inside your kayak, whether it be sit in or sit on top. And so I'm a firm believer, uh, if it's uh, narrow enough to straddle the kayak, with both legs like you're on the top of a horse and then slowly lower yourself into the seat that's best case scenario but uh sometimes you know you can't do that whether it be a current or a real deep drop off and you can't step over and straddle each side and then another time i'm going to share with you uh, is when i was putting in at a boat ramp on a super slick green algae um, boat ramp and uh, i watched three people slipped but after I unloaded, I done forgot what happened, and I did the same thing. So enjoy. Yeah. On this day, it was rainy, and I was fishing a river for some trout. And the current with the rain and the wind was a huge issue. But anyways, uh, my GoPro in the back behind me here wasn't working at all. I was like, well, that's a problem. Because uh, I just caught three trout. I'm like, I'm in a good spot. I need to go ahead and fix the situation. And then uh, while I was reversing the seat, I was trying to adjust my GoPro. Uh, I started swinging. Now in this sit-in kayak, it's not easily I can jump around and try to adjust real quick. I was trying to ride it out. But I forgot about my paddle. And it just, I left it basically. So it never fails. You're going to lose something off the side of your boat. <laughs> I mean, the things I've lost the most would be fish pliers, right? Uh, you know, after I get a fish off, I'll put it on my lap, and then I'll forget about them, I'll start fishing again, and all of a sudden, poof, it done dumped off. I'm like, oh. And so pliers are like the number one, I believe. Uh, I wish I had it on video, but I did lose a nice foldable net, and uh, it somehow just dumped out, I wasn't paying attention. Here's a little funny part in the video where I try to salvage and try to get my paddle. But when you're kayak fishing, bass fishing in a boat, it doesn't matter. You always have to be aware of your surroundings. These next few clips is where I wasn't really paying attention. I was paddling along, I was excited, or uh, just looking for my next cast where to throw. And I ran my poles into uh, you know, a limb or two.
another little clip where uh, you need to be aware of your surroundings especially over your head uh, I was jigging through crappie under this bridge and I got hung up and I was trying to shake it out and it popped loose when I was raising up at the same time and I smacked my nine foot jig rod into the metal frame of the bridge and it snapped it just after that pretty much was over that was my only jig rod that day Ugh, so mad cost me about 30 bucks Well, here's a few more clips that I thought was pretty comical, so enjoy. A fish. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Come on, man. here. Got too much drag. You gotta pull in the fish. Can't get to break. Stupid weather. Oh shit. Well, the only thing I caught on this trip was uh, tetanus. Other than that, I still had a great time. I'd rather be out here uh, paddling around and looking at new areas than at home, uh, you know, on the couch. When you're on the water this much, something is bound to happen. I always encourage folks to uh, be prepared for those things that happen. Sometimes you can't prepare for it. I mean, if you're gonna bust it, you're gonna bust it. A lot of my things are not leashed, but some of my very important things that are very expensive to replace, I try to leash those the best I can or make sure they float. Anyways, hopefully this uh, video gave you some insight if you're getting into uh, kayak fishing or just kayaking in general, or hopefully some of these things you've learned from. Like, uh, I'm definitely not gonna do that. You know, you live and learn. 
and I've learned a lot of things the hard way. But uh, hopefully you can take this uh, kayak mishap video and learn from it and be better prepared on the next adventure. Well, speaking of which, I hope to see you on the next adventure.